Hi everyone, I am so excited today because I have a special guest by the name of Travis Rogers. You guys know that I'm all about efficiency and streamlining systems to make the office more successful. So today, um, I met Travis in January and he has a product that I think is so needed in the, in the dental field. And so I'm going to let him introduce himself and, and give a little bio and talk about his product called One Click Referral. Hi Candace, thanks for having me. Um, appreciate it and uh, good to get on, be on your show here and talk about One Click Referral. So One Click Referral is about 10 years in the making, $2 million of development, a lot of research has gone into it. A lot of advice from a lot of different people and as you know I mean a lot of our friends in the dental industry consultants they're 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 very they're great about sharing uh, input and advice so you know one click referral um, is the product we're talking about it's literally a physical button um, and it sits in and streamlines the process it sits in the general dentist office and it's integrated with the dental practice management system so when they receive the box you know it's integrated in with Dentrix We've got uh, CareStream, we've got Dentrix Enterprise, Open Dental, um, EagleSoft, all the practice management systems. Each button is unique to the practice management system. So they, they receive this cute little box, right, um, with a quick start guide, plug these buttons into their computer and make it easy to, to streamline the referral process. We've, all, we've also got a little, little nano button as well. So. You know, what we found in building many different referral products over the years, um, first one was called Record Link, um, and it was built uh, really integrated and to streamline all that communication that happens because we, we found in doing research that the two biggest pain points in dental offices, number one is communication and number two is insurance verification. And this product actually fixes both of those problems. So insurance verification is integrated in so the specialist knows exactly what the cost is for that patient coming over. Uh, we also have integrations to dental labs as well. So to open up a dental lab case, you can click the button. Or if you just want to verify insurance for on your patient, you can also do that. But it's really seamlessly integrated. It's a digital referral tool, and it's really built to, to make it easier for dentists to communicate and to collaborate on patients. And more than anything for me, and the more stories we hear from our customers, it's all about getting your patients the best care and the right care and the timeliest care possible. So we have all kinds of stories that we've collected now over the years um, of doing this of, of, um, of, you know, people that were prescribed to go over to a dentist to, to see a spot, whether it be oral cancer, things like that. And for years they didn't show up, but finally with this tool, uh, we make it easy because what we do is we communicate with, we make sure that the patient actually does show up. And what a lot of general dentists don't know is they actually are medically and legally, um, you know, required to ensure that their patients actually make it to the specialist that they're referred to. So it covered, this product covers them from a, not only a HIPAA compliance perspective, but also a medical legal uh, compliance perspective as well. Right. Because they're definitely liable. And so, that's why I was so fascinated about this product, um, because when I worked in a dental office, it was so time consuming for the front desk. First of all, the doctor has to fill out a physical uh, referral slip, then yeah. gives it to the front desk. Now, hopefully the front desk is calling the specialist right then and there in front of the patient and co coordinating an appointment. But a lot of times that's not done and they just give the referral slip to the patient and leave it to the pa up to the patient to call and schedule the appointment. So that's a little scary because then the front desk needs to um, put a reminder or a follow-up to make sure that they're doing that um, and that they have an appointment for the treatment. Then there's even more follow-up, as you know, Travis, because if the specialist calls, then the general dentist has to give them scan and email them the refer a copy of the referral slip, um, radiographs or any other documentation, and then they have to give them any insurance information if the patient's insured. So all of this can be done through one click, correct? And they correct. can just communicate instead of picking up the phone, they can communicate in a portal, the specialist and the general dentist, and transfer this information all through the portal. Is that correct? I know you're gonna show us a short demo, which I'm really excited. 
Yeah, I'm getting that queued up. So yeah, so it, it um, I mean, the whole goal and, you know, is to eliminate, um, you know, since you're the process improvement gal, you know, there's a lot of waste in the dental process, right? There's a lot of waste that happens in a dental, in a, in a dental, and we found in just doing research and analyzing, I mean, we've met with thousands of dental offices over the years, that there is just a huge amount of waste. And what happens is, you know, your patients are not getting the best treatment. When, when that referral slip is handed to a patient, you know, some people call it the referral black hole, right? Yes. Um, or if it's, if you're anything like my wife's purse, it's the referral black hole of a purse because that goes right into the purse. <laughs> it goes right down to the bottom, right next to all the kids' crumbs of their, you know, like that. So, you know, what happens is, you know, and I was just in a dental office um, a couple weeks ago, a current customer of ours, and I saw this older guy walking out of the office, and he, he was all proud and gave me a big smile when I walked in, and, I, and this guy's a friend, so I went right to the back, um, it's actually my dentist, and, and um, you know, I sat down and I saw the picture of this, this guy on his desk, and he proceeded to tell me the story of Joe. And Joe was just this older guy that never went, you know, he went to the dentist maybe every two years or so, like yeah. most people do, and uh -huh. the urging of his wife. And he had a missing, uh, he needed an implant. And uh, he, he had these, they had these annual family reunions. And Joe never went to the, never smiled in the family reunion photo card that they handed out to all their friends after. And so this guy wanted to hand deliver this card because because of one click referral, Joe actually showed up for that referral and got the implant and he had his big smile on his face. Oh. And, and so, you know, those heart wrenching stories is uh, to me that it's what it's all about. Um, and, you know, getting these dental offices more of the Joe's in their, in their, in their practice that they can really come back and say, you know, I love my dentist. He really positively impacted my, my my life and my family and my confidence and things like that so that's what it's all about for us definitely um yeah i'm i can't wait to see the demo because as i mentioned there's even more follow-up after the patient does have the treatment done at the specialist then the general dentist the people at the front desk need to call the specialist if they do have insurance, they need to find out an estimated amount that is going to be used over at the specialist. Because if the patient needs to return to the general dentist for more treatment, then we need to give accurate treatment estimates and know how much is left on the insurance. And sometimes the front desk can't gauge that yet because the claim isn't paid yet. So as long as we get like an estimate, so there's constant, there should be constant communication. But a lot of times I know it gets dropped, you know, the ball gets dropped and it falls through the cracks. Yeah. Well, you know, with the onset of, you know, Google and social media and things like that, the other part of it is, you know, uh, these general dentists have been working on these relationships to find the best specialists in their area for their patients, right? So they have yes. a clear defined line of the best care for their patients, right? Yes. And it, not only the reminder piece, but also the fact that, you know, you want to get that right. Because what we found is, you know, hand, you hand that piece of paper and we've, I've watched it as I'm sitting in dental offices, they sent, they hand the piece of paper to the patient um, the patient then goes to picks up their phone, <laughs> searches yeah. Google, or goes to their social media and say, "Hey, my dentist just prescribed, uh, you know, that I that I get that I need a, a root canal. You know, mm -hmm. anybody have a good uh, endodontist that they go to or whatnot? And that may not be the best or the right one for this particular procedure or this particular thing that that patient does. And your dentist, who has the relationship with the patient, they're the gatekeepers to." everything dental care right right um, they they know who the right person is and the best person in the area so a big part of you know people ask me whether one click referral is a product or a service but it's really both you know there's a product component to it where it's the button it's um you know it is called SaaS or software as a service because it's an online portal right to make it easy it integrates in with the major dental practice management systems but the service part really comes when the fact that we're also training dental offices on the talk track. So I spend a lot of time with people like Joanne Majors, um, you know, all the soft skills experts out there in the dental space, including yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what do we do to kind of tell the office that, hey, this button, this button right here is the direct line to the best oral surgeon in the area. You know, and he gives me this special button to make sure you get over to him as fast as possible. So you're going to receive a text message right as you're walking out of my office. They're likely going to call you immediately. They're going to send you an email right away. 
Uh, we want to get you scheduled over there as fast as possible. And that just that sales tactic too from the office, the, the soft yeah. skill of selling that treatment, it really helps. And then what happens is, like you said, because we we work with over 260 insurances, we verify it in transit. So as that referral is coming over, the specialist knows whether it's going to be fifty dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever the out of pocket is for the patient. So you know, not only do we alleviate the fear by the general dentist kind of helping to sell, this is the best, he's the best, mm -hmm. him. We've got the speed factor um, because it's happening instantly because we know every second that goes by, the patient's less likely to make a treatment um, right. or make an appointment. And then the third part is taking the cost piece out, you know? So by the way, you know, we verified your insurance from your, they sent us over that information. You're gonna only be, you know, $200 out of pocket. And if that's too much, we work with Care Credit. We work with all these other providers to help you finance it. And it just, we found, you know, we found a, a huge increase and, in, you know, we're continuing to track the numbers of the exact numbers of increases, but we're finding, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's at least over 50%, um, you know, faster and more efficient process using this product. So uh, next time we talk, I'll get you some real numbers on that because we we rolled it out to, you know, the major largest oral surgeons in the United States are using this right now. Um, and then we're just kind of continuing to expand it out um, as we go. That's amazing. Yeah, because it saves time right there that where the front desk doesn't have to call the specialist. Yes. They just yeah, enter exactly. all the information in the portal. And then, like you said, the patient gets a text message almost immediately after they leave. One of the things that we found is that also these, these are high dollar procedures for the general dentist. So it's not only are you helping the specialist to get the best, you know, get the business for them, but oftentimes with these implants and things like that, if the patient doesn't actually get the procedure with the specialist, they don't come back and get the rest of the treatment by the general dentist. And sometimes that's $3,000 out of pocket. Right. So we do notify them, keep everybody on the same page. We send a message notification back. Uh, I can show you what that looks like right now if you'd like me to run through a quick demo. Yeah, I would love that. Um, okay. Because you're right. The general dentist is losing production and, and revenue um, if the patient doesn't have the treatment done at the specialist and return exactly. to them to have more procedures done. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I'll go through okay. this real quickly here. We'll just zoom through it. But obviously, you know, we're now we've done a lot of uh, brands in the industry. Um, what we've done is we've harnessed pieces that we've learned along the way. We've learned that the biggest thing is just ease of use and speed. Right. And integration is also key to the whole success of it. So, you know, as a general dentist, you know, if they're unable to send complete referral forms, obviously it's, it's frustrating to everybody. There's a lot of time wasted going back and forth with all the follow up, all the missing information. And patients are frustrated. I mean, you know, if there's one of the worst things that can happen is when a specialist uh, has a patient, new patient come in and they say, you know, so tell me, what do you need? What are you here for? And, uh, uh, you know, there's nothing worse than that conversation to lose faith in that doctor and lose faith in the communication, but it happens all the time. So wow. we send a lot of information. We really streamline all that communication. So, you know, what if in your dental office you can consistently um, send all the referral information over to the specialist that you work with about the patient, saves you a ton of time, you know, all of that tracking down of x-rays and things like that because we allow for large files to be attached as well. So it could be CT scans, it could be DICOM images, all kinds of different uh, file types. And then there, it's just keeping consistency, right? Um, instant yeah. notification, and it's all done with the click of a button. So people ask me do they have to have the button um, to do this and they don't so it's actually the button brings up a web page which is um you know but what we found in and and you can send it through the web page if you just want to bookmark it and things like that but what we found is the engagement of having the button is that you can maintain contact and eye contact with the patient as they're walking out the door you know say oh just a minute we know we need to send you a referral rather than disengaging from the patient when that's happening you can actually stay engaged you can hit the button and still be maintain contact with the patient so it's just a po much more positive experience using using it with the button plus the button's so cute <laughs> it's cute people love it and you know it's integrated in it's a, really just a part of their system it's part of dentrix part of eaglesoft part of open dental so obviously saves a lot of time, makes communication um, easier, better tracking of those referrals from a compliance perspective, reduces the patient's need to complete redundant forms. Patients, patients love it because when they get to the, the uh, specialist, 
they don't typically have to fill out the same forms that they had just filled out at their general dentist. So it just leads to a ha happier patients, more of a positive experience. And, you know, we go through an exhaustive process. We're actually going through our annual HIPAA audit right now. It's a, uh, it's a painful process, but something that we do to make sure we could, we protect the privacy of our customers. Yeah. So we receive the box, obviously, um, you know, it's a cute box. I, I think I've, mentioned before our product is that the box was actually built by the same product um product designers or, or packaging engineers that did the iphone packaging so wow it's a grown up in silicon valley and having buddies like that that did that for us um you plug it in um it can be done through a little nano button like i showed you or through the actual physical button and what happens is when you hit the button um it brings up an easy referral form and you select the patient that you're sending over. Um, you select the procedure that you're sending them over for as well. Mm -hmm. and, um, and basically, so you select the, who you're sending it to, you select the procedure, you attach files and you hit send. And what happens is the surgical specialist that you're sending it over to receives an email and a text message. Uh, you can open up the referral and you can respond um, or call the patient as a specialist. We, we want the lights to go off, you know, for the specialist. So we have um, notifications that, that go, go off via email, via text. And also we have a Chrome browser extension that notifies the specialist that they've received a referral. Oh, we great. Want the patient to be contacted um, and called almost immediately. Um, so that's what the, the text of the specialist looks like, letting them know that they've received it. It doesn't have any patient information. And then what happens is the patient also receives an email and a text notification. Thanks for coming in. We've referred you out. Um, and one of the things that we've really done as a next step, and this is newer since I think, um, you know, kind of a, a recent enhancement, is we integrated with secure text messaging. So we actually have a secure text message platform. So on the back end, the specialist and the general dentist can use this as well. They can securely text with the patient. So in other words, you know, the communication, especially with the millennials, a lot of them don't want to call, they don't want a phone call and they yeah. don't want really to do email. So if they can, if they can message and schedule that appointment via text message, that's ideal. So we enable that right through the back end portal. So here's just kind of a back end. I'll show you this more in, in, in real use, but all the referral information is over here on the left. This middle piece is for the office communication that, that happens from GP to specialist, or GP to lab. Um, or, G, or specialist lab, and over here is the right side where, where we communicate with the patient. So this is where the secure text message comes in. So it's really one screen that you do for all your communication. On the back end, um, you know, we're built for large group practices as well as the small guys, um, but many of them have multiple coordinators. So we allow for multiple coordinators um, to be able to track what referrals each of them are using, to, are working on, so there's no crossover of people calling the same patient. Um, we also have a set of disposition statuses. So when a patient when a patient calls in and they either cancel, decline, or we schedule the appointment, it then also automatically notifies the general dentist that that has happened. Great and messages and phone tag and things like that. The general dentist doesn't need to know, so we don't notify them during that process. Um, but we do make it easy to to let them know when that uh, when that uh, patient has actually been scheduled, so then they can reach back out and do the restorative part of the treatment. So we do have a series of apps that we built as well, you know, Chrome browser, um, Android, iPhone, things like that to do a lot of this as well. Because um, we found that a lot of the referral coordinators are out there in the field, they want to have access to this so they can immediately reach out to their patients. So obviously the question is, what do they do with, with the time that they've gained? And I guess, you know, Candice, you can come up with some other things that you can help them streamline <laughs> with what yes, you do. Definitely. But, if they're interested in learning more about what we do, obviously they can go to one click referral or call us at 800-596-0133, or they can text the word click to 444-999. Great, keep that up on the screen for a little bit, but what I'll also be doing is, since we're pre-recording this, I will put that information in the comment box for people to have, um, in addition to looking at the screen here. But my one of my questions is, when you send the specialist the patient's um, name and the services, like you said, that need to be performed, yeah. um, also do they get the insurance information? Um, they do. Does the GD's yeah. front desk have to enter that or it's connected? 
No, so that's automatically connected. It integrates in with their practice management system. So basically all they have to do is who are they sending it from, which automatically populates typically, you know, one or two people that they're sending to. If it's integrated, we have this little window that shows up with all the patient, um, the, the basic patient info. Uh -huh. If it's not, what we'll do is we'll then enter, you know, all we require is first name um, and, uh, and phone number down here. So we, integration is not required, but it's ideal if you want to send all that information over. You can attach files, you select the procedure that you're sending it over, add any comments, add any right. files, you mentioned hit send referral. And then what happens is on the back end, we're now processing that referral through our APIs with the, um, with the 20, 264 different insurance companies. And um, we're, we're, we're then letting the specialist know when they refer, when they receive the referral, they'll, they have a dashboard that they log into and all that insurance information comes over. So most people are just going in here and they're downloading the referral um, mm -hmm. and then just importing it into their practice management system. So there's a lot of other systems that are, you know, kind of handling all of the collaboration back and forth, things like that, that are just super yeah. complicated, right? Um, I found that most of those systems have been overbuilt. Um, so we keep it simple, right? Uh, right? We're just all about getting that patient into the chair and doing whatever it takes to get that patient into the chair as quickly as possible. So this is the back end. Um, and I mentioned there's the text message over there. Mm -hmm. um, all this is, you know, everything in our system is super configurable, right? So the referral form that goes over, uh, we also allow you to have different team members that log in. Each user has a profile with their multiple locations. I'm talking about the insurances that they take. Um, our referral form is, is super configurable. So if you want to, you know, things that you focus more on, or if you want to turn things off, you just turn things on and off in the back end. Same thing with the patient form with the integration. And we also, you know, because we have the largest database of dentists in the world, a lot of people know me simply for that product with the Dr. DDS. We make it really easy to grow your network of colleagues that you work with. So, you know, if a specialist wants to, you know, grow their network of doctors that have, you know, recently entered into their area, we let them know the new doctors that have popped up, then they can go in and start adding them as colleagues and then, you know, start really doing some more um, follow-up and marketing and, and communication with them. And uh, that's one thing that we're adding. That's one of our next products in the wow. one family is really that CRM functionality um, for dental specialists to be able to track that. Um, and figure out, you know, when referral sources go up and down, just the ability to track that and, and keep track of all that. So that, that's helpful for the specialist offices. But Got you. So, okay, so the, in order for them to see the insurance information, they have to go on the back end. Yeah, they just receive it. So, we, you know, it's all, it's all obviously oh. locked down from a compliance perspective. So, yeah, they do have to have a secure login, but that all comes over, you know, the notification comes over with the referral. Yes. And all that information comes in there. So. Great. That's it. All right. Uh, well, Travis, information over, I want to show you this real quick. Oh, sure. Over like this and do an easy report that just kind of lets them know, hey, the um, you you, know, you sent them over for a uh, for preventative services. It's it's in network, out of network. How much is covered? Um, the percentage, things like that. So all of that is uh, comes over with the actual referral itself. Okay. So. Perfect. Yeah, and the carrier information. Um. All right, so back to currently right now, you said the major software such as EagleSoft, Dentrex, Dentrex Enterprise, um, mm -hmm. and also Open Dental. Yep. Um, what about Ascend? It's Dentrex's cloud-based. Yeah, so Ben, their product manager, know him well. Um, you know, Ascend is a little bit, uh, they, don't, they just started their API program, their newer product. So we're one of the first to get access to that. So yeah, Dentrix Ascend will be coming very soon here. Becoming very um, soon. And we kind of base it on demand, right? So Ascend is just, it's not, they don't have a huge demand for it at this point. But um, right. if anyone wants it, we'll, we'll develop it. We'll integrate with it. Okay, Travis, now the big question. Um, cost. Yeah. One well, it's free. I mean, for your, for your friends and family that are on this call, we don't offer this normally. We're offering a 60 day free trial. Okay. So no cost trial. Um, you know, the, the specialists are the ones that pay for it. So it's free to general dentists always will be free to general dentists. Um, the only thing that they will have to pay for is insurance verification. When they, when they, when we launch that as kind of a standalone product, we're calling that Verident. 
which will also be integrated in with this. But as they're sending it over to the specialist, there's no charge. Um, but so it's it's actually fifty dollars a month per per general dentist, paid for by the specialist. So you know, inexpensive, right? One referral, one one referral that didn't show up that actually shows up pays for the system for two or three years. You know, so it's we kept the cost very low. Um, for specialists to, to enter in and to start using the product. We did a lot of research on the pricing. Uh, it used to be $150, but it's now it's $50. And, you know, we just want to get more, get more users going and, and, you know, have everybody in the, in the dental industry using one-click referral. Yes. Now, just to clarify, you said it's $50 a month for the specialist. Is that per, um, no matter how many general dentists that they work with? Per or? general dentist. So per if they have... Five general dentists, it would be $250 a month. So it's $50 per. Um, you know, a lot of them use it with their top referring doctors, um, but some of them also use it as a marketing tool, right? To get their, we, we, we categorize people into A, B, and C as far as the, the, the type of referral that they are. A lot of times you're trying to get the C's up to the A's, um, but you're also trying to make sure you take good care of the A's to make sure yeah. that the referral sources aren't dropping. Um, and things like that. So those are all, that's all part of it. Great. Right. But that's awesome. Free to, for the general dentist out there. Yep. And I'm telling you, it's going to save your front desk, I think a lot of time. Um, and as you mentioned, Travis, that, you know, unfortunately the general dentist is liable for making sure that the patients get the treatment. So yep. Absolutely. Documenting all of that. Um, okay, so the contact information you I'll post once again, but we forgot. I forgot to ask you just a little bit about yourself, Travis, because you have a very interesting background. Now you used to work for IBM, is that correct? Yeah. So I, I worked at IBM, worked at Oracle. You know, I grew up in in Silicon Valley. Um, I'm uh, competing on Dentistry's Got Talent. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a speaker out there as well. I mean, my goal is always to help people help more dental offices, you know, be successful, streamline processes. Um, we do, you know, if you go to travisrogers.com, I guess you can learn more about me and what we've done. So I help people bring products to market. Um, we built quite a few different modules over the years, but yeah, more than anything, grew up in Silicon Valley, always been an entrepreneur and, uh, you know, just enjoy the positive effects that, that uh, dentists have on patients' lives. That's why I started I Love My Dentist, which is a a movement in the dental industry to get dentists to really focus on really amazing patient care. Yeah. I run a nonprofit called Donate Dentists as well, but yeah, I mean these are some of the brands that we've that we've launched over the years, and and we'll continue to bring new innovations to the dental industry as they as they are needed. Well, I love it. I see that. Yeah, you um, Henry Schein actually hires you to come up with some of their modules and. We do. Integration. Yeah, we're, 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 we're very integrated with those guys. Yeah. Or you have to toot your own horn. What are you known for? They call you the what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, the, uh, I've been called uh, been called a lot of things in my lifetime. Just ask my wife, but uh, Howard Fran called me the the number one entrepreneur in the dental industry. So yes, uh, uh, Lois Banta calls me the most abundant person in the dental industry because I'm also you know always sharing and helping people. I run a dental vendor CEO mastermind. I run a dental um, consultant mastermind group around ADMC and. You know, have uh, you know a lot of people that I like, like yourself, that I enjoy working with. That uh, you know, we can. Uh, we also have affiliate programs, so affiliate and reseller programs. So if there's consultants or sales reps out there that want to offer this as an additional value-added service to their customers, um, you know, we do offer a, you know, a 20% commission, um, which is a great way to make some make some money at it as well. So great, yeah, because hopefully I'll have. Um all different people watching this and tuning in, um, you know, all the dental. The inaugural podcast. I yes. love it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Dental people, uh, dental um, and the employees versus dentists versus consultants. Yeah. yeah. Other vendors. Cause I think that this is, is such a useful tool. Well, um, everybody loves you, Candace. I watch it on Facebook. You got a lot of friends, you got a lot of fans out there. So you're doing all the right things. I'm, I'm happy for you. And, you know, I'll help you in any way possible. Thank you. I love um, just connecting with others that are so passionate about just, you know, making a difference in exactly. the dental field and helping as many people as we can. So yep. thank you so much for taking the Grab time to be here and go over the demo. demo. So once again, we'll um, post 
um, Travis's contact information, or if you have more specific questions about how One Click works, um, there's this support number that we will give. And if you want to do the 60-day trial um, version, um, just yeah, contact them, and then we'll get that going and get your buttons delivered to you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Perfect. Candace. All right. Thanks so much, Travis. Thanks for Perfect. watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.